This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Lexus. It is a 2015 Lexus RX 350. It's a 3.5 liter six cylinder front wheel drive. Has 100,000 miles, almost exactly. Um, it was a dealer trade in in Phoenix and new car dealer trade in. And we bring it here. We do an inspection. Actually, my son drove it. He's 19. I let him drive this car, which is means it's uh, pretty safe because I wouldn't let him drive 110 miles at 80 miles an hour if it wasn't. Um, anyway, uh, we do an inspection when it gets here. It says runs and drives like new. All we did do it was a detail. Uh, looks like the previous owner found a hedge to drive into. <laughs> my guy's right. Um, bumper cover and driver fender. Uh, not terrible, but would take about $800 to make perfect. Carfax says accident 423 of 19. Very likely insurance report for trip into the hedge. Doesn't appear to have any paint or body work. Also, true car inspected this vehicle 210 of 20 and found very minor cosmetic damage. So whatever happened to it, they didn't fix it. So this was it. So this is the accident <laughs> right here. So it looks like they went right into a little hedge. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then stopped like right about here. Decided to stop driving into the hedge. Um, anyway, like I said, I mean, if you wanted to fix it, it'd probably run you about $800 to do a really good job on it. So there's really no parts to do. It's just sanding and painting a little bit. But uh, I think whoever buys this car, it's probably going to be fine with just the way it is. Um, having a really dependable, really nice car to drive around in that's not $45,000. Uh, give this video, I will uh, show you the Carfax. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. Um, I'll tell you what we know about it. We'll go on a test drive, we'll go into the hood. Um, everything that we know about this vehicle, you will know. There are no secrets, nothing to hide, no need to. Um, we'll have 800 to 1,000 people a day see every one of our vehicles online. And somebody will be just fine with a couple scratches. There's a little tiny one right there. Um, and so we want that person to buy the vehicle, person who's fine with it. And the only way we find that person is by telling them what's going on, showing them what's going on, not being deceptive, um, which is what uh, so many used car and new car dealers do. Um, they BS their way through the whole thing. But here's a remote lift gate okay while i have that open i will show you yikes i was going to show you something until the wind happened hold on get it together here kelly blue book uh rx350 sport utility with 100,050 miles uh typical listing price for this vehicle would be 23,983 so basically 24,000 with a range of 21 to 25,628 no, you're not gonna be paying anywhere near that, okay? Uh, we realize that I made a really good buy in this vehicle, uh, but people wanna know what, they, what the blue brick is on cars sometimes, and uh, that's that, all right? Here is the Carfax itself, there's the VIN. History of events affecting this vehicle's uh, value. Basically, Carfax blends the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book, and they come up with a retail value of 18,710. That's more like it, okay? Um, so there's your history. There's that. It says accident reported inspection found very minor damage repairs. I don't know what that means. I don't think they repaired anything. Um, title uh, problems. There's no title. No, none of these major title problems were reported, which is great. And then we have a vehicle that was born in Chandler, Lexus of Chandler, which is a very big Lexus dealer in the country. A very good one. So they were getting it serviced regularly, right? Boom, 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 boom. We're up to 60, almost 70,000 miles here. Ba -ba -ba. Everything's going great. 85,000 miles to get serviced. And then front and rear. I think that the rear is just a bunch of scrapes and stuff. I think that they tried to file a big insurance claim because they don't know how to drive. And then, let's see, 95,000 miles it gets serviced, brakes um, were done, maintenance was done. 99,000 miles, a True 360, a True Car uh, company does uh, inspection. Very minor damage reported, cosmetic repairs found to 
right side front end rear end blah 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 okay so that's that all right so now you've seen that if you want to put make the seats go forward here all you have to do is push that and that'll make the seat go forward there and push this that'll make it go forward there obviously you have to have the headrest down to make it go all the way boom Let me fire this guy up and we'll go under the hood. Foot on brake to do that. One hundred thousand one hundred and sixty-one miles. That'd be because we drove it from Phoenix. And then I drove it home the other night. So that's where we get to 161. It's a nice car. <laughs> really nice car. By the way, BSM stands for uh, blind spot monitoring. It's got all the Apparently they weren't very, <laughs> they didn't help the poor woman that, or I shouldn't say that, that's not nice, person who uh, drove it into the hedge, but whatever. <laughs> All right, here's your uh, Lexus stamp. There's the bin where it belongs. Not a whole lot to report under the hood of the car, except that obviously none of this stuff has been broken or, yeah. As they said, very minor. your window let's see see forward back see forward back up down up down that works fine let's see what do we got going on in here blah 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 we have uh, heated seats and we have cooled seats I'm gonna put it on cooled because that's what we need right about now. You got a USB port here. Ba, ba, ba. Like I said, if you put the seat forward like that, right? Push it back. Here's your cup holder, center console. I like these cars, they're really cool. The interior of this car is perfect. Very nice. It's pure desert in Chandler. I mean, I don't know how you put it into a hedge. <laughs> There's hardly any hedges to put it in. Ugh. All right, let's see, mirrors. Yikes, those buttons are already hot. Out, in, up, and down. Wow, that's hot. The sun is warm, out, in, and down. Let's see, you got your... You already done it with the keys. All right, there's that. Then I'm gonna go like this again. There you go. All right, let's see. Seat forward, back, front of the seat up, front of the seat down, rear seat up, rear seat down, seat back forward, back, steering in out down up it's actually an ad usually they're they're uh they're uh wood grain but there's an ad for this black look on it which is why when i we bought it it had a uh, steering wheel cover on it because in chandler a black steering wheel means you're going to burn the crap out of your hands obviously we didn't reset the maintenance required light um what else there's your, uh, so we got the menu here, right? So there's your, that's my cursor moving around. I'm gonna go to menu. All right, we got climate. I'm gonna keep it cold, cause it's hot. 
right now. It's really warm right now. All right, let's see. Radio. Turn the radio on. Let's go to the menu here for the audio part of it. Boom. All right, let's see. Audio off. Oh, I've got to turn it on, don't I? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Radio. Let's see. Ah. Uh, There we go. Now. Let's see. Scan. Let's see. Is there a scan? Now let's go here. DJ Dega has the beat to keep your party popping. It's the midday house party. Steering controls. Classic hip hop. Station change with the steering right here, right? All right, so all that works fine. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Mode. Mode. That's the steering controls I'm doing right there. Let's see. Menu again. You have apps. You have, let's see. Menu. Setup. All kinds of stuff. Anyway, everyone knows how to work this stuff nowadays, right? Let's see. Open. Close. All right. Let's see. And we have cruise control. There's your cruise control light right there, right? Let's see what else we got going on here. So this is from these controls here. Boom, boom. Average speed, cruising range. Then I'm going to hit this button here. There's the parking stuff on and off, snow control, parking sensors. Let's see, try another one. Eh, anyway, you get the picture. And I'm going to turn up the air because it is freaking warm in here, man. We're going to be 100 degrees. I think they said 95 today. It feels more like 100. So I'm going to enjoy the air conditioned seats, which are on. And I'm going to enjoy some really good uh, AC, which it is. All right, let's go for a ride. If you come to Tucson to drive this Lexus home, by the way, there's the uh, service sticker. It says uh, oil change due at 99552. So it's a little overdue on the oil change, which is why the maintenance light's on. Um, but uh, like I said, we're going to show you everything. Uh, that's my job, all right? Obviously, this car was very well maintained, so getting an oil change is not a big deal. Um, all right, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, this is how it would work. You're going to pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our state tax, our city tax, I'm sorry, of 2.7%. So your state plus our city of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. It's very simple. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon prices, no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Okay, transparency, that's the deal here. Um, uh, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up with the uh, Lexus. Um, and you'll, once the truck shows up in your car, then you'll just go down to uh, motor vehicles with the title you have in the, from the mail and go get it done. Um, but, 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 but what else? Uh, if you need help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of this transaction. We can help. Um, we can roll it into the price of the vehicle um, and do the shipping for you. You can do it yourself, whatever you want. Um, deposit is $500. Once we agreed on a price, please make sure you get your deposit in. This is a really nice vehicle. We're trying. We're not trying to make Kelly Blue Book or even what Carfax is recommending. Okay. Um, we're just trying to move cars as fast as we can. We can't have beautiful cars sitting around in our neighborhood. We have razor wire, we have night vision cameras, we have cops crawling over the place, but it's still the hood. Um, so we try to move them. We also don't have all that space uh, that we used to have. We have lots of vehicles now, we gotta go. So they're priced to go. Um, we give you tons of information. Please make sure you get that deposit in so that uh, somebody doesn't beat you to it. Uh, it's a beautiful car, really nice car. Um, Last part of every video, and you can verify this by watching any video I've done in 13 years. Go to the last two minutes, I'll say this. We don't have salesmen, so you're not paying for that. 
We don't have bottled water with our name on it. You're not paying for that. You're not paying for a fancy zip code like you are at the Auto Mall. You just saw where we left. Um, you're not paying for a lounge with you know cable TV and a game room and scones and an attendant. They have all that crap at uh, the Auto Mall here. Um, and they charge you for it when they sell you a car. Trust me, I know how they do it. Um, they also know at the Auto Mall that if you uh, buy this vehicle from them and uh, something's broken on it, uh, you're gonna come in and say, fix my car. So they add five or $600 to the price of the vehicle for that also. There, you are paying 20 grand for this vehicle, okay? Because two or $3,000 of that is going to be for all the stuff I mentioned plus future repairs, all right? Um, we're not charging you for that because we're not fixing your car. It's a beautiful car. Uh, change the oil, change the filters, you'll be fine, okay? Um, if you wanna fix the scrapes on the bumper cover, probably $800 would be do a really nice job since there's no body work to do there. Um, you could have it, it would be perfect if you wanted to. Um, but uh, other than that, this thing's a beautiful car. It's worth every dime, all right? Um, but you're the owner on day one. We're not writing checks for anything. If a window motor decides to take a crap the day you buy it, it does. Uh, that's why we go through all the switches and all the stuff um, so that you know it works today, you know? Um, but uh, we're not Nostradamus. We don't know when they're gonna break. If we did, I would never buy a car that's shitty. And I have, and you just never see them online because we can't sell bad cars online. <laughs> it's uh, all about the uh, your reputation and you know, there's so many crazy people who bitch about stuff that's non-existent that we got to be very careful. Okay, so uh, that being said, um, really nice vehicle. Really nice vehicle. Nice sound system. I'm on my way to, uh, on this video drive, I'm on my way to Lowe's because uh, we're firing up all of our swamp coolers. It decided to go from 82 or 3 yesterday to 95 today and 100 by Friday. Uh, so my guys are like, yeah, I think we might want to do that today because it's going to get hot. So I'm on my way to Lowe's in the Lexus, which is a good way to go there. And uh, this thing has the uh, lane deal too, by the way, which is interesting. It keeps you in your lane when you like veer off to one side or the other. You can feel the steering kind of reminding you that you're drifting. I like it. Some people hate it. I guess you can turn it off in this car. 